I am, of course, very honored uh, to be on the uh, on the Legends cover. That's a huge honor for me. I, mean, I can't really even describe it. <laughs> you know how it feels when I, when I seen the cover. I was just blown away. To be on the cover of NBA 2K22 is wonderful. It's an incredible honor, and I'm so happy to be on there. Because I worked my whole life to be in a conversation, you know, with those guys and to kind of have a stamp with a 2K cover. <laughs> I could definitely show my friends and, and brag a little bit. I'm thrilled to be on the cover with, the, with these two unbelievable players that, that I've admired and a fan of. 2K has been big uh, all over the world. 2K is huge and very vital to what we do as basketball players. John Quill Jones is the one that comes off top of the to mind. She reminds me of myself with her length and how she shoots the ball. And I'm a huge fan of her. Um, Charlie Carlier, she went to Texas, there's no one pick, so I follow. But I pretty much follow all the girls and try to keep up with the box scores and see how they're doing each night and watch as much as I can. Um, you know, the game of basketball is incredible no matter who's on the floor, I feel. Well, it's, Luca is definitely up there. You know, he's uh, he's so special to watch because he's 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 so fun. He, I think sometimes he doesn't even know what he's going to do next. I mean, I watched a playoff game this year where he dribbles up and he shoots a a, a one-legged three-pointer, um, which is unbelievable, and he makes it. Uh, this kid just has a special gift to uh, to make uh, exciting plays. Well, I think the, the NBA big men will distinguish themselves as they have gifts. So uh, the ones that want to go in and dominate in the paint will do that, and the ones that can go inside and outside will do that. Uh, Anthony Davis is a great example of that. The Lakers wouldn't have won their last uh, championship if it hadn't been for his outside shooting. So, uh, you yeah, know, that, that is, a, is a new uh, factor in the game, and uh, I'm glad the big men are involved. When I came in the league, a lot of fours and fives are really big guys, uh, stay closer to, to the basket, big good rebounders, uh, really tough physical. And then, you know, the, the game has changed. Uh, early 2000s, um, uh, the, the, the league took the hand check away, uh, they put the zone in, and then, you know, it, naturally the, the game um, evolved a little bit more to the outside. Uh, guys were coming in and they were, they were better shooters. The, the big guys developed uh, a handle game and, and, and shots and shooting. Uh, and so the game evolved tremendously over, over the last 20, 20 something years. And, uh, and nowadays, you know, we have fives that get the rebound, bring the ball up, drive the length of the court and lay it in and uh, that really wasn't you know around that much 22 decades ago so it's amazing where the game has come uh, the skill level of, of all the players the guards and the bigs uh, improved so much and nowadays if you get drafted basically everybody nowadays can can shoot and handle and you know create their own shot a little bit and so that's uh, it's been it's been fun to watch When I first started getting into really playing games almost every day, 2K had just come out. Um, the first one, NBA 2K, year 2000, and Iverson was on the cover. And uh, the graphics was just, uh, you know, next level compared to what we were playing before. And we were just roped in. We seen the future once we turned on that first one. So yeah, I would say that was the most memorable moment is playing that over and over every year. Well, young young kids love video games and 2K has been big uh, all over the world. And uh, it's it's a fun game that, you know, where it started, whatever, over 20 years ago to now, how good the, 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 the players look, how real it looks is actually, it's actually really scary. So I think it's, it's fun. Uh, it's fun for the younger generation, for sure. The moves and the uh, animations that they created for each player have been on point and online with what we do in real life. And that's what makes the game so relatable. And uh, to be honest, like you asked me a question earlier, how can the game get better? I don't, I can't see how it can get better from where it is now because everything seems so perfect. So 
you know, most of the guys that play the game that, that's in the league with me, we play and we talk about how accurate stuff is and um, how good it looks. So, yeah, they've done, they done a great job. It has impacted it a lot because you got a lot of international guys that are coming over and, um, you know, uh, being number one options on these teams and, you know, you look at the Jokic's and, you know, Luka Doncic and those guys, you know, play a slower style pace, you know, pick and roll style, Jokic plays in the post, you know, stuff that um, the NBA was getting away from is trying to speed up and those guys have, um, you know, incorporated that slower style to our game and have, uh, you know, you know, just turned it into a different dynamic. So, um, game is growing and evolving every day and it's uh, beautiful to see. Well, you know, it, it's hard to say how the foreign players would have done, you know, when they first started coming over. They weren't a whole lot of them and it took a while before they started to excel. But now, uh, you know, you got players that are going to be contending for the first team NBA All-Stars that come from all over the world. Uh, I think of uh, Luka Doncic from uh, Dallas. He's, uh, he would have started in any, any era. So, you know, there are a lot more players like that now. Well, I think nowadays is, is, is a bit easier than, than back then. I think nowadays you know more about the game uh, and the game has opened up a little more. So uh, it's not as, as, as physical. And so I think European players fit in great. They fit in great, their skill level, uh, the bigs can move and shoot, which nowadays everybody has to do. So. Um, I think it kind of works and uh, works great for the for the European players to come in and have impact and and you can see now how many how many Euro European players are not only good players but are, are major contributors on their team or even star players. Um, so that's been that's been fun to watch to see uh, the evolution um, of, of of course of the of the European players, but as well as globally. I mean that the, the the game has gone more global over the last 20 years that I've been in the league, and it's been uh, it's been fun to watch. And I think the game's in great hands. There are so many great young stars out there that um, that are going to carry this league for a long time. There's great European stars. Uh, that are fun to watch with, with Luka and Giannis and, and, and Jokic and many, many more. Um, so I think, you know, it's just fun to watch how skilled the game is now. You know, back when I started, you know, the fours and fives, they weren't really that skilled. I mean, some could shoot, but now basically everybody can shoot and play and bring the ball up and, uh, and, and make, make decisions off the dribble. And so uh, every, you know, there we have guards that pull up from... Uh, almost half court, so I think the skill level just uh, just exploded um, over the two two twenty years that I've been in the league.